Hi YouTube, welcome to all my videos. Um, quite a while ago I bought a Lister A. Um, I had a bit of problems with getting it running and uh, eventually we did get it running um, okay. But I never got this, um, this pump came with it, but I never ran, I've never got the pump to work on it. Um, when I sold the engine it was running but I had a lack of space to keep it. Um, I thought I'd keep the pump of it because this pump is quite a rare pump. It came from um, Helston Waterworks in Cornwall. Um, it was originally painted blue and it's a green and Carter pump. I've never ever seen another one the same as this one. Um, like it says Green Carter Limited. Uh, obviously you can see the rest of the spec plate on it. But the number is 3 zero eight one three um, it's an A one A I don't know I can't find nothing on history of it on a computer again it's here um, you've got your pulley here which also your pumping rod is there um, this is all made out of phosphorus bronze cast off it um, these will lit undo, well it should do, I don't have them off for a while these will come off uh, take a bit of time to get them off obviously it's your valves in there though there is four valves on it to get into your end of your ram there's another one there, I haven't had that one off yet there's your draining tap there this is where you prep it to this is your outlet that's your inlet down there but the thing is quite unusual about this, this should be cast iron this bit that's what the bloke told me when I, um, my uncle bought it first off he told him he had the cast iron one but it broke so he made one out of wood but fortunately he decided to throw away the metal bit, he could have made, welded it back together but this is identical to what it would look like if it was cast iron in here you've got an oil well in there now, it's all full of oil here um, You've got your little metal springs here with um, little brushes on and as that comes up it will drip down and your bearings there one there and one there the bloke had this one from my uncle apparently um, the bearings were shot on it when he got it and it never used to work with these brushes it would be uh, full with more oil I guess it never should leak through there but to the less of oil in it, he drilled holes for the new bearings he put in and added these on so it flicks the oil around in there so he's done a good job at that bit, I was quite pleased with that um, same, we've got one this side um, excuse me, got oil tapped on the bottom there, you can see it to drain it but it's really strange though, the stud pattern to bolt it you got one right in there and one on the other side is going through but the back ones are bolted up that way so you've got to have a block of wood or something to or a metal bracket to hold it but all that weight on that front end is just bouncing on those four bolts because from that point right to the front there's nothing there supporting that but it's been out the front of my nan's garden for ages but my gunner and that went out tonight so I thought I'd move it down here but I could have really <laughs> done with this hell, I really struggled, I took the um, dome off but there's some weight in that bottom bit to lift um, I don't know what I've got here for scale you can scale that pump roughly too um, ordinary can sort of your petrol sort of can so as you can see it's quite big compared to the, style, uh, the size of the can bigger than your list of domestic um, if I can find a tape excuse my camera work the pulley is 17 inches the total length of the pump from front to back is roughly uh, about 31 inches I don't think you can see that about 31 roughly height from say the floor because it is pretty um, level here to the top of the dome is about 28 inches 
so it is quite a big pump. Um, I have, when I first got it, I did um, sand it all down and repainted it, but it's been sat outside for good oh, six, eight months, and the weather's got to a bit. It's not seized up or nothing, it has been covered, but the sun, where it has been shining on it, has took, well, dulled the paint up. So I will just give it a bit of a sand down again, another coat of paint. I'm going to build an uh, individual trolley for it itself. Once it's bolted down better, I should be able to um, try it on a bit more faster engine because this tray, you used to try, you get up running, time you try getting that settled down and working fine, you start playing with the pump, the engine start playing up again. So I've never really had a chance to really get the pump working, but I have seen it working a few years back when my uncle did have the engine. Uh, when I get it going, I'll try it on my Walsley. Should um, power that all right. My, um, so I will update you when I build a new trolley for it. Um, and then hopefully, one, I might show you a video off making the trolley, but um, if not, I'll just show you once the trolley's done, it's all bolted on. And hopefully it'll be in the garden for a um, test run. It'll probably be a couple of weeks, yeah, it might be even longer, but that's my plan to do between going to some of these shows now um, so thank you for watching this video and um, I'll show you some more soon cheers and bye